What's up guys, this is Chris. Today we're gonna to be talking about some new software that we're launching at the Cubicle. We've been working on a lot of cool software and website, and this is one of the first ones that is going to be released, and it's called Cube PB. And basically you use it as a way to document all of your PBs in one place. And it's also social because you can see uh, other people's PBs on the website and a few other cool features that I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So right here we have the home page, which is pretty basic. It's basically just a listing of your profile with all the PBs on it. And one thing to know is when you create an account here, you can use your current existing cubicle account if you already have one. And if you don't have one, you can make one for free. And as we release future software, you will be able to use that login for all of our websites and software. So you don't need to worry about creating multiple usernames and passwords. So like I said, this is basically just the homepage. You can see all my times and PBs and main cubes. I don't do very many events. You're probably gonna have a lot more events on here than I do, but you know, that's just me. In the bottom left here, you can see when people you follow submit new PBs. Currently, since we just launched it, there's not very many users on here, but as it populates more and you follow people, you'll be able to see when they submit a PB, so you can kind of keep track of your friends or maybe just some of the top cubers that you wanna follow. In the bottom right here, we have a very, very cool feature that I'm really excited about. So basically, you can put in your address, which will not be shared with any third party. It does not go out to anyone else. It's safe and secure. Um, but you can put in your address and then put in the distance that you are willing to travel for competitions, and it will tell you what competitions are coming up near you in that distance. So you can see Big and Blind Minnesota is four miles away from me, not very far. Um, there's one in Wisconsin coming up, and then you can say whether or not you are attending, and we'll get to why that's important later. You can also click the WCA icon here, and then that will take you to the WCA page. Um, and then one really, really cool feature is you can see how full the registration is. So right now you can see this is probably about a quarter full. Um, this one is about half full. So that's a really cool feature. Maybe if you're kind of on the fence and you aren't able to sign up right away, you can at least see if you need to get on it soon because it's filling up. So that's a feature I love. I think that is really awesome and this will be a great place when you're putting your PBs in here to just see if any competitions are coming up near you. And now if you're going to something that is outside of the travel distance that you've listed and you wanna put it on your profile so other people can see where you're going, you can do add other comp to profile. I've already added all of mine, but basically all you do is you find the name of the competition and you would start typing it and then it will search the database for all the competitions with that name and then you can select one if you are going to it or not. So moving on here, if I click here, you can see we have log out, manage account and public page. So if I go to manage account, you can add your WCA ID, which I have already done. And then if I go down here to public page, now you can see what my profile looks like to the public. So another really cool thing, if you do decide to tie in your WCA ID is it will also pull the stats from your official WCA page, which is kind of cool. You can kind of see how that ranks with your PBs at home. You can see that my 683 single is very outdated since I have a 658 average at home. So I think that's kind of a cool thing to compare and see where you are officially versus at home. You're also able to tie in social media. So right now I just have Instagram and YouTube listed, but if I click this, you can see it'll just go ahead and take me to my YouTube page that I have linked. And then same thing here, if I click this, it will take me to my Instagram page. So that's pretty cool. And now, like I said, for the competitions thing, when you mark that you are attending, it will be put on your profile and you can see all the competitions that someone is going to. So if you're curious if, you know, maybe where is Felix going or where is Max Park going, you can see all the competitions they have upcoming as long as they add them here. You're also able to search users. So if I go ahead and search Max Park, I can now see his profile and all his cubes and PBs. As you can see, he has lots of PBs, an average of 10,000 is absolutely crazy. Max is probably one of the only people who would do an average of 10,000. But right here, I can see all his PBs. And actually, this is the first time I have seen a lot of his PBs, and these are absolutely ridiculous. So this is actually kind of cool seeing this live for me because I didn't know uh, Max's PBs. So this is crazy. I didn't know he had a sub six average of 1,000. So that's cube PB. 
We're really excited to share this with you guys. We're working on a lot of really cool software and we think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. If you have any bug reports or feedback, you can see in the bottom right here where you can send that to. We're very open to feedback and we would love your opinion on what you guys think of this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.